Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is a cod. It's a cod fish, and I love cod. I don't eat any other fish uh, besides cod. I do eat other fish besides cod. It's just that this cod I use when I want to eat something like um, baked fish, or uh, either uh, fish and butter sauce with a crust, or uh, even scallops. Yes, I'm going to show you how to make this taste like scallops. Yes, this is what I'm going to do. Now, I get a card, and this card is sort of thick. It's a thick piece of card. Now, this card I'm going to save for another recipe. And I want to show you how thick this card is. And what I'm going to do is show you how I cut this into cubes just like scallops. I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm going to do is... Turn this, uh, the card this way. Now this card is very, very good, y'all. It's a very good card. So what I'm going to do is cut it in the middle, just like scallops. And you can do a scallop recipe if you want to by following this. But right here I'm going to make them at this side, just like this. about maybe an inch like that I'm gonna do about the whole thing probably let's see that ought to be about right the size of scallops and we're gonna cut this a little bit off of this let's see maybe not just like this get about six of them y'all Six should be enough, don't you think? Six. We're just going to cut a little bit more. Let's cut the whole thing. <laughs> Let's get the whole thing cut. Let's see. Uh, about like this. And about like this. And about like that. we cut the whole thing, y'all. How about that? Okay, we got them all cut. So what we're going to do is season them. Now, I like to season mine with just plain black pepper. I mean salt. I'm gonna do, well, do the black pepper first. Just black pepper. Just like that. Season them up real good. Now, you can put any season, like I always tell you, on your item. Whatever you're cooking, you can put any season you want on it. Okay, we're going to put some salt. Make sure it's salt all up. This card is delicious like this, y'all. Very good, very good. We're going to put a little bit more black pepper here. Okay, and then we're going to use some paprika. Yes, indeed. Just a little paprika. Turn it over. Have some delicious cod that tastes like scallops. Yes, indeed, y'all. Okay. Got them all seasoned up. Then we're going to use a little chili powder. Just a little chili powder on them. Make them taste good, y'all. Make them taste good like that. And then you can add cayenne pepper. Like I'm going to put some on mine. Look how and pepper. Just like that. Just a little, not too much, just a hand. I use the other hand. Okay, we're gonna move all this over. Now you can use butter if you like. Or you can use olive oil. I'm gonna be right back and show you how we're gonna fix them. Alright, we're gonna add some oil to the pan. See if we can get you like that in there. And add some oil to the pan. We're going to have grill marks on ours. Just like that. Just a grill mark around here. And we're going to make sure the pan is hot. Sizzling. Just like that. See, it's not sizzling enough. Let's see. There you go. It's sizzling. I'm going to put it all over like this. 
in here sizzle just like that. By the time we get them all around, about time to turn them over again. Let's see. So, scoop these over a little bit. Put this one in the middle. And we're gonna let them sizzle for a second. And we're gonna put them in a plate when they get ready. Now you can add olive oil to this or butter. It depends on what you feel like doing. I just put the olive oil and sometimes I mix olive oil and sometimes I mix oil together. But right here I just have the canola oil. I have canola oil on these today. Okay. As they sizzle, they're going to be so beautiful, y'all. So we're going to come right back and let you see what they look like after they sizzle. So let's get y'all in the camera. There you go. Now, and as they turn over, we're going to be right back and let you see how they look when you turn them over. All right. We turn our uh, cars over. They're done. And we're going to put them on a bed of rice. Just like this. They look just like scallops, don't they, y'all? But they are not. They are what you call, let me show you what they look like. They are cod. They're done and they taste really delicious. I'm going to put them all in this bit of rice. They smell delicious, y'all. Very good. Look at that. They are so good looking. Taste good. And they have a wonderful, wonderful aroma. Okay. And we'll do the rest when we come right back. Right, this is our end results of my cod fried just like scallops. This is a wonderful dish, y'all. I made it for those who miss seafood and cannot eat the seafood, like the scallops and the shrimp. You can do this recipe the same way as you do fresh scallops. I made it out of the cod, I cut it and show you how to prepare this dish. After this presentation, I will show you how to do this um, card in the fashion of doing the scallops. So this time I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel. All right, so you can also make with the card after you make your scallop look alike. You can uh, make these as carbs patties, uh, carbs uh, corsets. Of course, yeah, you can. And you can add uh, garlic and onion and one egg for combined. Then you're going to stir. Bring this together. Just like this. And you can <clears throat> add some breadcrumbs like that and you blend it together just like this and then you can add your cod that you just fried you can add um, any ingredients you want any spices any uh, things you like to put in there I like to put parsley flakes in mine And I would like to put red pepper flakes, peppercino. Because I like that spice in my eyes, y'all. I got the garlic and the onion. You can put any other ingredients that you like in your uh, card patties or cassettes, whatever you like. Croquettes, croquettes y'all. I'm not good in talking about little stuff, y'all. Y'all forgive me. I know a lot of my subscribers bear with me. But, you know, I'm just me, y'all. Okay, you're going to put some black pepper, just a little, because there's enough salt in there. So you'll need those salt, and you're just going to blend this together until it's combined. Combined just like this. Yes, indeed. And we got the oil on in the pan, and we'll be right back. All right, make sure that your... Uh, Cod have enough corn um, 
enough breadcrumbs in there. So we're going to put the breadcrumbs and go over here and we're going to make a patty just like this. The pan is hot. We're going to make a patty like this and we're going to dump it. Now it depends on what size you want of the patty. And you're going to put it in the cornmeal. That's like that. Well, I call this cornmeal, y'all, because I'm used to using cornmeal, but the breadcrumbs. We're going to do it just like this. Sprinkle some on the just like that. And we're going to gently lay it in the pan. Just like that. Trying to split it a little bit because it's kind of soft, but that's okay. And then we're going to do the next one like that. Make sure it's Coat it with the breadcrumbs. Like that. They smell wonderful, y'all. We're going to do the other one just like that. A little bit more on there. They're very light. Place this one in there. And then move all this out the way. Let them get brown. Put my hand. It smells delicious, y'all. Smells wonderful. Okay. I'll let them cook. Put all this up. We're going to shove them a little bit and they move around, so that's a good sign. We're going to get them brown and we're going to turn them over and we'll bring you right back after they get through cooking. This is the finished results of my cod croquettes. They are beautiful, they taste good, and they are wonderful. You can get this recipe off of soulfoodqueen.net and you'll find other recipes that you might have forgot or want to check out. These cod uh, croquettes are flavorful, filled with a lot of flavor, and you will enjoy serving them to your family. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel.